Hello, everybody. I'm Frankie San. And I'm Mark. And welcome to the show. OK, real uh, quick announcements. Don't forget to sign up. Um, YouTube, Video Line Express, um, to subscribe and like. And uh, right now, what we're doing is we're going to have one show per month. This will be a repeat. We're going to uh, do the best and worst. Uh, actually, the best and upcoming movies. We're going to do that first. And then don't forget, uh, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. That's about it. Um, Anything else, uh, 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 any other news, I will put it on YouTube exclusive. They're going to be like little five-minute little segments on YouTube. Okay? Uh, real quick, the only thing I'm going to say about the Oscars is very simple. Uh, Coda won and Troy Corsa, so Best Supporting Actor. Uh, believe it or not, did anybody see Boba Fett on Disney Plus? I'm going to make this real quick. Uh, Boba Fett was trying to uh, talk to the Tuscan Raiders. I forgot the season one, uh, episode two or three, and he was doing sign language, like, we're going to have the speeder bikes, and we're going to cruise like that. People saying, what? All of a sudden, they, uh, they're talking sign language? Believe it or not, the hint was season one, Mandalorian, uh, episode five. That's where they introduced the garage mechanic, you know, the, the fuzzy hair, and she went out with one of the Jawas. And also, uh, Ming Yen, um, that the female assassin, she was introduced in that same episode, episode five. And another bounty hunter joined Mandalorian to go to the desert, and there's t two Tuscan Raiders. And all of a sudden, the guy said, what are you doing uh, talking to these guys? And uh, Mandalorian said, I'm, I'm go ne negotiating a treaty, and they're using sign language. One of the Tuscan Raiders that talks back and does the sign language, uh, that was Toy Corsa. At the end credits, everybody gets major credits, and you see all the storyboards, and all of a sudden the screen goes black, and there's little white little lettering scrolling up, and really tiny words, Tuscan Raider number two was Koi Tusser. A lot of people didn't realize that the Mandalorian had an Academy Award winner in his cast. Little trivia, I just wanted to mention that. Anyway, th that's about it. Let's get on, there's a lot of things about, uh, um, about uh, Oscars. My two main peeves, main peeves was, uh, they brushed over James Bond. Did anybody notice that? The main thing they used for the James Bond little um, presentation was Live and Let Die, the best, uh, well, I consider the best James Bond tune of all time. And then uh, The Godfather, which came out in 4K. I'll be talking more about these subjects on our YouTube site, okay? Um, but uh, the 4K, Fancy 4 Couple came out with De Niro and Pacino, hi, bye, and that was it. What kind of crap is that? And I won't talk about Bruno. Anyway. Tonight, what we're going to do is up and coming features for, for springtime and the summer. Um, I don't know, can you read my handwriting? Uh, let me see. <laughs> Morpheus? Uh, you have Morpheus there? Yeah, uh, it's getting bad reviews. Really, no. really bad reviews. To say. I'm shocked. Yeah, then, uh, well, a lot of the um, MCU fans are kind of glad, mainly because that's a Sony product. So, yeah, they're going, eh, who cares? Yeah, but <laughs> most, most of those Sony movies aren't that great either. No. I mean, well, Disney products, I should say. Disney, uh, I don't know. Uh, they, they send to waste too much padding a lot of these films. Mm -hmm. It's like, even if you see Spider-Man, like we were speaking about before, they, seem, they put too much padding because it's like they want to chop down or, or cut off a lot of the major action pieces that you can put on Spider-Man to make it more exciting, more entertaining, but to them it would probably cost more money, so they just put too much filler. Yeah, but... I it's almost like getting a knish pie. <laughs> <laughs> like all potatoes and nothing else. Right. Well, the last Spider-Man I liked because it had the three different Spider-Mans and it had the, the five villains. Yeah, but they did... And it, it was it really did fast went long. It, it, it went kind of long because they no, did spend... So. No, it did. It was long. You just don't remember it. It was long and they, they put a lot of padding about his relationships. Yeah, okay. And I was like, oh, dude. Well, I mean, what uh, is so this? Batman wasn't padding... The, uh, oh Batman yeah, needed yeah. to be three hours. Come no, on. No, it didn't have to be, but it, at least to me, I found it more entertaining. But we're talking about Spider Man, but you want to defend Spider Man, go for it. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you about Disney products. Oh, um, okay. All right, well, Sonic 2 is the second one you have on your list. Right, real quick. Well, so you def I'm defending Spider Man, you're defending Batman. I would not be defending a lot of Disney products. I'm defending, oh, okay, I would fine. definitely defend uh, uh, Batman. It was, it's more of an adult film. But oh, okay. I think there's very few people, like I was saying, that more people. They, they, they make Spider-Man more placate to children, and that's why you're going to have more people come in 
to see Spider Man because it's right. That's why I had a lot of repeat yeah, performances. Yeah, exactly. That's why this, like the majority, of, the, the majority of, of people there are, are youngsters. Yeah. Uh, so uh, no, on to Sonic. What do you think? Uh, it looks pretty entertaining. Like you say, uh, if they do but this for, for children, kids. yeah, they're gonna enjoy it. Okay. That's why I guess Jim Carrey's all in. Um, Fantastic Beast. Nah. The first two sucked. They were horrible. Yeah. They're just they're trying to go, they're going back to the well. Oh, okay. And then after that, you have Michael Bay's Ambulance. Uh, yeah. Oof. Uh, even the commercial does not look good. Even Michael Bay said himself he didn't like the way the special effects turned out. Yeah, it was so funny. Uh, you, if you see it, it looks like such a Michael Bay film. It uh, almost looks like a parody of Michael Bay film. <laughs> it's as if they want you to invest in liking... The, one of the protagonists, uh, one of them is Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know, I forgot the name of the other actor, but mm -hmm. it's sort of like they really want you to invest in that and w they really want you to fall in love with the other protagonist. Not so much Jake Gyllenhaal because he's coming, out as a, coming off as a bad guy. Right. But this, it, it's sad, so sad. It looks so convoluted, even though I, I'm a big Jake Gyllenhaal supporter. But what are you going to mm -hmm. do? Okay. Um, Second, uh, the uh, what's it? fifth from the bottom is Doctor Strange. Yeah. Okay. That's why I put this up because I think it's gonna that's gonna be like the big uh, box office hit for at least for the first half of the year. I mean, it's gonna do better than Batman, uh, fortunately, because they they're shoving so much in in this and also yeah, they, yeah. That's it's like they're putting uh, what is it the uh, uh, one of the Olsen twins, the one who played who uh, plays Wanda, Wanda the Witch. Right. I um, mean, I have no interest in Wanda the Witch whatsoever. I did not like Her that in Disney as Plus. a character is yeah. awful. Mm -hmm. It's like they hire some of these actresses, I'm sorry to say, or actors, who can't do an accent, and then you don't know what accent they're doing. Somehow or another, she lost the accent. From, yeah. from <laughs> a lot of the things I've heard from people like, uh, even, even when I, I, I watch YouTube and they and they speak to spies and, and Russian spies. Mm -hmm. The Russian spies always say, you will never be able to lose the accent. Mm. Once at a certain age you do that accent, you will never be able to lose it. Yet, the Black Widow seemed to have lost her accent yep. immediately, because it's like, <laughs> I don't want to do the accent and I don't want to dry my hair anymore. So what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And also, I guess, Wanda, she couldn't continue to do the accent. She said she forgot it. Right. So fine, man. Maybe they should forget her. She's not bringing anything to the to the role. But no, yeah. I mean, uh, <sighs> uh, I, I mean, so the, the so best so one who did the Russian accent was, and uh, if you saw the, what was it, Hawkeye? Well, uh, well, first of all, it was um, uh, Black Widow, the movie, Florence Pugh. She had that accent down really good. Then she showed up in the Hawkeye Disney Plus, and she still continued the accent. I mean, she nailed it really good. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to do an accent. That's, no, it's not. It's like the thing I don't understand. Why don't they just hire a Russian actor or mm -hmm. who, who, could probably do, who could probably actually hit it out of the park? Yeah. They so should just hire, do that instead of hiring an American <laughs> who probably took a couple classes at the academy and then decided, hey, I can do a Russian accent. Really, can you? <laughs> yes. Well, that was like uh, Lady Gaga. She tried to do that uh, Italian accent. Oh, it was the worst. It's yeah. like she it's almost pulled it off. They all did a horrible accent. Yeah. They all did. It's like it's like you don't even know why they did the movie or why they did the accents. Uh -huh. it, it's like one person. I think Jeremy Irons didn't even bother. Yeah. And the other t the other actors should not have bothered. They should have just look. We either all do accents or we none of us do accents. Because if one guy isn't doing the accents, we're all going to come off like. Asses, and this movie is going to be a, a look like a comedy. Uh, who did that? Uh, Tom Cruise when he did that German movie. Uh, what was it? Oh, I, I know what you're speaking about. Where he you know, he, he plays he a German. A, yeah, he with him and five, uh, four other guys. Five guys. They set up a plan to kill Hitler. Right. And they blew up the other uh, the big giant desk, but uh, they didn't kill Hitler, and right. they got found out. Uh, Valkyrie, I think, was the name yeah, of it. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Thank you. Um, yeah. And then what you call it? Um, they they got they got murdered really badly. But they decided everybody, the whole cast, did an American accent. Not yeah. didn't even try a German accent. Don't even try. It. Don't even try. It so his crew doing it never, playing it a German never, with an American accent. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the best. Because look, <laughs> we know they're Germans. 
Right. Just play them when uh, just play them as Americans. I mean, don't play them as Americans, but we understand that Germans. We can sort of like do this thing like it's being translated, and we're listening to them speaking English. We can understand what they're saying. Because what are you going to do? You're going to do it with a German accent, and then you're going to say, "Then why are you do it with a German accent? Why aren't they just speaking German?" And then if the whole movie's German, it would be a foreign film. Yeah, it'd be like uh, yeah, with foreign subtitles. Yeah, it'd be ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. So just do an American accent if you're. If it's an American production, do an American accent. Stop doing the cheesy accents if you're not from that country, unless you have segments where you have to speak English. Right. Otherwise, just do it in English. Well, most people don't like to read subtitles. Yeah, nobody wants to read subtitles. It's yeah. going to be a foreign film. Right, well, yeah. Why bother? Uh, Next one, well, Top Gun you have. Before we get to Top Gun, there's another thing about uh, Doctor Strange. We're gonna go, uh, Doctor Strange comes out, we're going to do a whole show about Doctor Strange. Really? Thing, we, ha we have that much? You think he has that much material? Uh, well, we're going to see how bad it is. Uh, okay. They're shoving a lot of things in the movie. Uh, they're doing the, what they're doing with the Spider-Man and also with the multi-universe. Did, did, did the last Doctor Strange even do that well? No. But that's why they're throwing everything into this one. In fact, uh, who is it? Uh, Patrick Stewart, who's doing Picard right now, oh my he goodness. shows up to introduce the X Men. Oh my goodness! And as a matter goodness. of fact, talk about Tom Cruise. Um, uh, supposedly, there's a cameo. Remember, uh, what was it? Suicide Squad? Was yes. It? Yeah, Suicide Squad. Suicide the first one. The first Suicide Squad. Well, no, what's it? So oh no, no, I'm sorry. Deadpool. Right. Deadpool number two. Brad, right. uh, Brad Pitt shows up in a cameo. Right. He right. He gets stuck in the telephone. Electrocuted. Line, yeah. And gets electrocuted, and he's like, "Blink, hi, I'm here. Bye." <laughs> right. Yes. A quick cameo. Yes. Well, supposedly Tom Cruise is Iron Man in this one. That's really? The, that's the rumor oh, on the that's internet. Pretty funny. It's a rumor. I don't that's know. It's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. So I guess he's cheaper than than you're telling me he's cheaper than hiring um uh, what, what's his name? No, at that at that particular time, Tom Cruise was offered, but then again, his business people he won ten percent of this, twenty percent of the box. Yeah, he probably there. wanted to show more of his face. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, he's a pain. He's a pain. Yeah. So, do, so yeah. they decided, okay, who's not going to? Is that worth it? Who's not going to complain about anything? Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, because he needs the gate. Yeah, exactly. Then the next it, it was a, it was a good it was a good decision. It, it was a good payoff. Yeah. So that's why. Uh, well, I'm Tom saying it was a good decision to hire him because it was he's probably working for no money. They were expecting it to fail. Yeah. Like they said, this is one of the best films that they have uh, designated for, for failure. Yeah. Well, but talk about Tom Cruise, Top Gun, what do you think? Is it going to succeed or uh, just it's too late? Well, the way it's too I, late for the I, sequel. I didn't like the first one. It was, the first one was just 80s hype. Yeah. But a lot mm -hmm. of people love 80s hype. So mm -hmm. if this goes along the same lines, mm -hmm. probably those same, sorry to say, this Hicks like the first one would probably like this one yeah okay. it's all it's all about a flag waving and 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 fast planes and whatever patriotic i mean that's the way yeah, it was in the 80s and patriotism. they're trying to duplicate that now yeah and they said they, they, thanks to that movie it signed up a lot of people to join the air force yeah um I, for me i think they waited a little bit too late well it doesn't even matter it's it, this, they probably didn't even work on the script uh, but there the probably is no script there. But the special effects are they're definitely a lot better, though. That's good. Oh. Good for them. Okay, so we covered his ass, okay? <laughs> All right, Bob's Burger. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they got away with Simpsons. Remember Simpsons was on yeah, for 20 years? Yeah, it was years. great. And, I, I, I can't wait till another Simpsons movie. Yeah, that's on, still on the back burner. They're going to see how... They should how definitely do it. I, I bet you they're, they're, they're looking for a script. They got a script already written out, but they want to see how Bob's, uh, Bob's Burgers... Because oh, at Bob's that time, Burgers not going to do that great. Yeah, I know. I mean, because nobody was What the heck is it. that? Nobody <laughs> asked for it, and nobody even remembers it, even though there's a lot of, like they call them weaves, right. who love it. So it'll probably do k good for the kids' market if they really play for kids. Uh, that's the thing. is The, the show is really for adults. Well, they, uh, they're aiming for a yeah, kid's Yeah, because when I watch it, I don't, I don't understand what kids going to understand this, this show. I, and I as an know. adult, I don't find it funny. Now so I don't watch it. I miss it. As, I don't miss it, but I don't watch it as often as I can. Okay. So after that, you have uh, J.W. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, J. World, Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park. Num number three. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to put this down here. Jurassic Park. Okay. Uh, I guess you want to get into it? 
Uh, we'll, we'll quickly. We'll, I mean, uh, we'll see yeah, how, they, how much we like can get the to the same rest thing. of this list. But they, yeah. they looked like they're throwing everything on uh, it. Again, that's the new stick. stick. Yeah. Should we throw everything as much as we can into uh, one uh, movie. Uh, so what do you call that? Callbacks, callbacks, cool. callbacks. Yeah, they want to get the old generation like us. Yeah, man. And then they want to get the newbies. So it. this that, generation. They, they've, they've lost me a long time ago. Yeah. I, they, the they, only they, reason, I, exactly. The only reason why I would even see it is to review it and to say, oh, it's not good. Right, I li I liked this one particularly, but the second one of the the, the new trilogy, the second yeah. one was awful. And and it this and this as a movie, I would I've saw it, but I wouldn't want to buy the DVD. Right, it would not go in my collection. <laughs> well, you know, I'm into the, the old uh, special features, but okay. you know, that's I don't that know what just special me. features they have there. Yeah. Next, um, we would have uh, Buzz Lightyear. Uh, but this time the voice is being done by uh, not Tim Allen. No, it's a, it's a being done by uh, Captain America. Oh, okay. Right. Which is kind of a different spin. But I think Toy Story kind of uh, welcomed itself, especially after Toy Story number four, which was pretty it bad. Looks, it looks like the kids are going to love it. They'll, they'll have the kids' yeah, audience. Yeah, the kids, the kids' audience. So it's probably going to do real well mm -hmm. for kids. Because at first, I thought they were going to take a serious take to it and make it seem sort of like um, Buzz Lightyear as an astronaut. But it completely goes into a realm of fantasy, which then doesn't really make any sense. Because if you're saying that Buzz Lightyear plays in the realm of fantasy, then the toys that are made for him, do people understand that they have aliens out there, that aliens exist? Mm -hmm. what, what is that all about? <laughs> Does that make any sense? And if these no, aliens it's, exist... It's a, it's a mixed concept. Yeah, it, it's the concept. It, it's sort of like... I guess we're not supposed to deep, uh, go into a deep dive and completely analyze this because right. if you re completely analyze it, it makes no sense. So then these superior um, beings from another planet who are going to their planet to invade them sort of would have the ability to invade us. And I, I, understand, I don't understand why they haven't invaded us as of yet. It makes no sense. Well, because we've got we to sell more toys. For Disney. <laughs> this, this makes That's sense. what Buzz Lightyear is the, the only way, uh, the, all, look, the only way yeah. this could make sense is if Buzz Lightyear, they're, they're, the movie they're making is based on a TV show. Mm -hmm. That's the only way it makes sense. But even then, it doesn't make sense. Well, d don't be surprised if it goes over to Disney Plus as a series oh, after this movie. Goodness. I mean, that's what happened with Monster University, Monster Inc. Yeah. That there's a two movies. It's a TV series now? Yeah, it's a TV series. They had a yeah, it didn't, do, it didn't do too well, I guess. After a while, they probably canceled it. Uh, they, had, they haven't made an announcement for a second season. Ten episodes, which I, I thought it was okay for the Disney+. Plus. Uh, I didn't go back and see any of the shows. They're, they're I, like I'm, not even a Disney, I'm not even a Disney subscriber. I'm not going to waste my money. How much, are they, how much are you asking now for $20? No, well, I got, I, I got it for Christmas sale for five ninety nine, and then after that, it's going to go up to seven ninety nine. I'm debating. Uh, Hulu, I, I got, man. and I got Amazon. Hulu is the first one I'm going to cancel. Right now, six nine. Uh, I am I'm paying ninety nine cents, but it's, uh, it's well, because I'm getting it for ninety nine cents. Okay. But okay. when the subscription goes back up to six ninety nine, and they they're going to push it for nine ninety nine, which is not worth it, I'm canceling. Yeah, yeah, it is. It isn't. It isn't. Next one you have is Elvis. Elvis, because uh, a point of view, me as a musician. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. No, Elvis. Was, Elvis was a great musician. Uh, I was going to say musician. I, I just. Say, well, uh, Elvis is a singer. performance, yeah, singer, singer. Mm -hmm. he, he definitely was one of the better singers in that generation. Right. But he was better than, like, he, he kicked Frank Sinatra uh, out of the, mm -hmm. the, the top, uh, uh, we call it, uh, performers at his stage. And even when he was still around in the 70s, he could out-sing Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra could not hold a candle to this guy. It was amazing. Even, even you see the renditions he has of I Did It My Way when he would, it's all over on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't, I've never sang this song before. He takes out a piece of paper because I think he knew it was Frank Sinatra's and then he just starts belting it out and it is amazing. Right. To, to just show you that uh, Frank Sinatra was nothing but a crooner mm -hmm. and, and Elvis was actually a real singer. Uh, because also he had a lot of background as far as uh, country music and um uh, and church music. Oh, okay. But that, but that the funniest the thing. thing I see on the commercial, you, you it, it's gonna it's gonna crack you up. Like they paint Elvis in a good light. They don't even make Elvis seem. They don't even put the bad things about Elvis and what he was really behind. Like for example, I, I'm not even sure if they really discussed the issue how he went into uh, Nixon's office 
and had a picture taken with Nixon saying how they should get rid of John Lennon because John Lennon is a detriment to the youth of America. During the time when he was on top, they considered him a detriment to the youth of America. Mm -hmm. And he wanted, uh, because of the competition, he wanted Lennon, um, ex what do you call it, expelled from the country because Lennon was speaking up a against the Vietnam War. Right. I mean, this is horrible. And he also, they always, they talk about all these crazy stories about, uh, well, he married his wife when she was only 16. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, after she had a baby, he didn't want to have anything to do with her because mm -hmm. he felt she was unclean. He had a big prescription medication mm -hmm. problem, mm -hmm. but they said, oh, Elvis was never a drug addict. He used right. prescription medication. Which he still, still was addicted to the stuff. Yeah, and, and, mm -hmm. and then they would say how, how he would do all these horrible things, like he once, allegedly, I'm going to say alleged because I don't want to get sued, mm -hmm. even on YouTube, mm -hmm. he... He hit one of these ladies he was uh, um, having an affair with, with a pool cube and paralyzed her breast. Well, as a matter of fact, there's a couple of documentaries that were made and a couple of movies, uh, one with uh, Kurt Russell. Right. Uh, another, I forget, the, uh, there's a lot of actors that play yeah, Elvis, yeah, okay? Yes, and yes. they explore a lot of these themes. Yeah. The angle with this movie, the, the reason why Elvis comes so clean because the evil villain is his manager. Uh, played it, by Tom Pop it is ridiculous. Trust me. Elvis was in cahoots about it as much as uh, uh, Tom Parker. They were all, I'm sorry to say, if anything, I believe Elvis was a bit of a, uh, what do you call it, a supremacist. I'm sorry to say. I, I love Elvis. I think he's great. But for him to come, trying to come out smelling like a rose, like they would show a segment where he was crying because they shot Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. But if he was trying to get rid of, of uh, John Lennon, because John Lennon was speaking against the war in, in Vietnam, right? Mm -hmm. And he felt that John Lennon was anti-American and should be deported. And not only that, I think he, re he was even telling Nixon that this guy allegedly should get, you know, axed. Well, and allegedly. Mm -hmm. And then you got to think about in the same period, Martha Luther King, when he started speaking up against the war, that's when he started facing his bi biggest backlash and cri criticism from the government and some of the people who work for the government, who are government shills, who were up in arms against Martin Luther King. So for Elvis to act like, oh, I was really heartbroken Mar when Martin Luther King got shot, I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't re whitewash history and rewrite history. But if you want to go do it, go for it. Also, uh, the American Revolution was fought because uh, George Washington wanted freedom or whatever. Okay. As far as uh, uh, the Elvis Presley, <laughs> as far as the Elvis Presley, the, the villain is Tom Hanks. That's Colonel Tom Parker. <laughs> that that's the angle of the movie. That is interesting. hysterical. Tom, uh, uh, Colonel Tom Parker. Uh, oh, we have three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Uh, when the movie comes out, we get more into it. But anyway, the villain is played by Tom Holland. Uh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks playing. Yeah, it's Colonel funny. Tom it's like it's it's like uh, Colonel Tom mm -hmm. Parker passes away. Uh, during the, the that period of the 60s. Mm -hmm. So they're going to continue to say Colonel Tom Parker is responsible for Elvis's behavior through through the 70s, the 80s, I mean through through to the uh, from the end of the 60s when he passed away through through Elvis's uh, uh, legacy of way, him passing away and mm -hmm. him speaking up against uh, John Lennon. Well, we'll find out when the movie comes out. But that's the angle of Elvis. Okay, okay. next show. This is going to be a repeat, by the way, okay, for April. We're going to come back in May with a brand new show. Uh, and we're going to start it with uh, Doctor Strange. And then we're going to go into Minions, uh, Bullet Train. Right. And, we have Bullet Train, uh, Thor, Minions, Love and Thunder. Thor, Love and Thunder. You have Wheels. Or what? Wheels of Emotion, that's another one. And Bros, are, it's a comedy that I happen and to bros. be in. Yeah, I happen to be in. Oh, you, got, you have a minute now. Okay, so um, we'll be back in, um, in May at Manhattan Neighborhood Network Studios. Okay, with a brand new show, The Friction uh, Dr. Strange. Don't forget, uh, Video Life Press and YouTube are going to have brand new little reviews. I'm going to cover Dr. Um, James Bond, uh, Star Trek Picard. I'm going to be covering all that, okay? All right. Uh, okay. Like, uh, subscribe, please. Yeah, and also don't forget that uh, there's a link. Uh, when you go to the YouTube page, there's a link for uh, Instagram and TikTok. You're going to hear more original music coming up, okay? And that's we on have, the website. Yeah, we have 30 seconds, and, and uh, then we're... Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following the show for 33 years this summer. Yay, we did it. Hooray.
So we see you on the next show. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and watching. Yes. Take care of yourselves. See you then. Adios. Okay, we did it.